and scissor PFAS. And that's an umbrella term to fit a PFAS chemical family of over 12,000 man-made chemicals. So none of these occur in nature. These are all synthetic chemicals. For waste, the wastewater side, I like to call them synthetic pollutants. So in this, in this PFAS family, we have PFOS. Sometimes you'll hear that called PFOS. Sometimes people say PFOS for the whole family, but normally we say for PFOS, we say PFOS. That's why I like to just spell these out. It makes it easy, it makes, keeps you from getting confused. So PFOS, PFOA, etc. times 12,000 or more, as you'll see in a minute. And of course, things like Teflon, Kynar, Vortex, Scotchgard, and the aqueous film from those balls that we just mentioned. Right? And the two down here on the bottom, this kind of shows you that uh, the different structures for them and the key component that makes them all fit into this family is it's not labeled on here, we'll see it here in a minute, but this carbon fluorine bond. So all of them have that in, in uh, common. All right, so we also like to think of PFAS as one tree with over 12,000 leaves. So really they're all part of the same family, but there's that many of them. So of course one leaf could be, ah, and one thing here, and I know I gave a presentation on this before, but that number that we recognize as PFAS is not even 12,000 anymore. It's 16,000, over 16,000, and it continues to grow. So where will that number stop? We don't know yet. We know that there have been over a million different types of synthetic uh, perfluorocarbon chemicals that have been created. So is it gonna go over 16,000? So each individual leaf, this would be PFOS, PFOA, et cetera. All right, but like we said, they all contain that carbon fluorine bond. And so sometimes instead of PFAS, you might hear them called organic fluorine compounds or organofluorine compounds. So I mean, that really, I mean, that's